And we have some news just coming in. S. J. Shankar has exposed Trudeau's hypocrisy. S. J. Shankar, External Affairs Minister, brands Canada terror haven. External Affairs Minister says ready for probe if Canada gives proof. Slamming Trudeau's political compulsions. External Affairs Minister calls out organized crime and extremism. Well, I don't know if I would use the term deadlock. Uh, uh, I think you would have heard me speak about this matter, uh, I think the first time in CFR in New York, uh, today at somewhat greater length uh, uh, at uh, Hudson. Uh, uh, the, the issue is as follows, uh, which is that, uh, you know, the, uh, the Canadians uh, have uh, made some allegations. Uh, uh, we have, you know, pointed out to them that uh, uh, this is not government of India's policy. And but if they are prepared to uh, share with us uh, specifics and uh, uh, anything relevant, we are also open to looking at it. Uh, so uh, in that sense, uh, that's where the uh, the matter stands. But what we do not uh, want to see is an incident treated in isolation because uh, then uh, that uh, uh, somewhere uh, does not convey the right picture. Uh, the fact is that uh, we have uh, uh, had an ongoing uh, problem with uh, uh, Canada and the Canadian government for some years now uh, and the ongoing problem really uh, uh, revolves around the permissiveness uh, in regard to terrorism, uh, extremism, and violence. Uh, and this permissiveness uh, is also reflected in the fact that uh, uh, some uh, important extradition requests have not been uh, responded to from their side. In the fact that uh, there are uh, individuals uh, uh, and organizations uh, uh, who are clearly involved with uh, violence and uh, uh, illegal activities in India, who themselves declared it. I mean, it is not a secret, uh, and uh, that uh, they they continue to uh, to carry on with their activities in Canada, and um, and most important, uh, the fact that uh, our diplomatic uh, missions and our diplomatic personnel have been consistently and continuously intimidated in Canada to a point where today it is not uh, safe for them. Uh, really to to uh, carry on with their with their, with their work. I mean, uh, obviously, the fact that we've uh, had to uh, to temporarily suspend our visa operations. I mean, it is not something we would have liked to do. It is just that they have made it very difficult for us to uh, to operate those services. Mr. Shankar exposing Trudeau's hypocrisy. France, Canada, terror haven. External Affairs Minister says ready for probe. If Canada gives proof, also slamming Trudeau's political compulsions, the External Affairs Minister has called out organized crime and extremism in, in Canada, essentially saying that this has been an ongoing conversation. Anisha is getting asked more details on that story. Anisha, as far as India is concerned, this, uh, you know, uh, India has in fact continued to expose Trudeau's hypocrisy. Changing statements over a period of last 10 days or so is what uh, the External Affairs Minister is referring to here, calling Canada a safe, uh, a terror haven, a safe haven for terrorists. Well, Sarah, we've seen the kind of very strong statements that have been made by India on the international stage as the external affairs minister is in the U.S. He's greeting the, uh, the U.S. authorities. He is speaking at the UNDA also. And he has said very clearly that Canada, the Canadians have made some allegations. And, and it, the government of India has said that this is not our policy. If they want to say something specific and relevant, India is open to looking at it. What is also important is that 
India has once again clearly said that the, uh, the Canadian government has been permissive in regard to terrorism, extremism and violence and this is reflected that in the fact that expedition requests, a uh, very important expedition request involving violence and illegal activities in India um, the, uh, uh, the, has not been um, or uh, uh, has not been responded to by the government of Canada, that the diplomatic missions are um, worried, and that is a very, very strong statement, that's a very, very clear statement being made by the external affairs minister of India. He said that there have been um, uh, issues raised with regard to this Khalistan issue, with, with regard to the, uh, over the last 10 years that suggestions have been made, but the discussions are not the, uh, representing the entire community. And that is a very important point that has been made by the Indian government also. And this is exactly what we are hearing here also from community representatives that what is happening does not in fact represent the views of the entire Sikh community. The people are talking about separatism, the people are talking about terrorism, whose arguments involve violence is a small minority. And the external right. minister today is saying exactly the same thing that in this climate of violence that... Uh, that is happening, the consulate, the officials are worried and he has raised a very pointed question to Canada that how are you letting this happen, that how you react to it if it is happening to your diplomat and uh, the diplomat and Canada cannot allow this to be normalized. All right. Anisha, I'm thanking you for the moment. Anisha is getting us all of those details. Anisha is in Surrey in Canada. Meanwhile, Speaking at a discussion in Washington, D.C. on Friday, Jay Shankar went on to call Canada a hub of organized crimes. Uh, the Canadian Prime Minister made some allegations, initially privately uh, and then publicly. This has been an issue of great uh, friction for many years with Canada, uh, in fact going back to the 1980s. Uh, then it became dormant, but in the last few years it has come back uh, very much into play uh, because of what we consider to be a very permissive uh, Canadian attitude towards uh, terrorists, uh, extremists, people who openly advocate violence. And they have been given operating space in Canada because of the compulsions of Canadian politics. Uh, did I speak about it with uh, Jake uh, Sullivan and Tony Blinken? Yes, I did. They obviously uh, shared, uh, uh, you know, U.S. views and uh, uh, assessments uh, uh, on this whole situation. I, I think uh, uh, hopefully we both came out of those meetings better informed.